Well, Mark Pollock, lovely to meet you. And the run coming up in November, the date is November the 13th. And this is the third time we've had the run. Well, I, I'm, I'm getting more and more involved as, as things evolve because three years ago I fell out of a second story window and broke my back and I spent the next 18 months in the hospital. So the first run in the dark was, was set up by friends of mine in, in uh, the Mark Pollock Trust who came up with a, the idea to try and raise money so that I could uh, get out of hospital and ad adapt my house and, and try and get back into some kind of normal living. So year one was 2000. Uh, and 11 mm -hmm. and we did it in four cities in Ireland, Belfast, Dublin, Cork and Galway. Then in 2012 we expanded and did Belfast, Dublin, Cork, London, New York and some pop-up events around the world and this is the third year. It's it's now called the Lifestyle Sports Run in the Dark and we have it in five official locations, Belfast, Dublin, Cork, London, Manchester but the pop-up concept is emer emerging and becoming a stronger feature. So we've got events happening in Sydney, Brisbane, Bangkok, Beijing, Hong Kong, Singapore, Cape Town, Johannesburg, New York, Boston, Toronto, San Francisco, and I think even in South America and Lima. So we're trying to create a global running event to attract thousands and thousands of people to come and do something that's fun, that's healthy, um, that's enjoyable on the 13th of November uh, 2013. And the reason that we're continuing to do that is we have a long-term fundraising ambition in the Mark Pollock Trust and we believe that there is a cure for spinal cord injuries out there if we can connect enough of the right people with the will to make it happen. And it's our mission to find those people from around the world, to connect them and to bring what's on the fringes into the mainstream. So the big agenda for us is is to help connect people and find a cure for spinal cord injury. And the people who come out and, and run in cities all around the world and have a great time themselves will hopefully um, in the long term be part of funding uh, that ambition to find a cure.